welcome to the 11th edition of our chat everybody we are glad to um not to see you i can't see it. we are glad to be here with you and um if you have friends that are um, art lovers please do um, let us know about us and um, we'll uh, send them everything they need to 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 be part of our group yes art chat is a is a, a show we do every week for half an hour from 11 to 11 30 and i um, glad you found us if you have if you're watching this later please join us next week we do this every week for half an hour and um Few of the house rules, as we mentioned before, if you're here with us uh, live from Facebook, we can't actually see you. I apologize. If you need to communicate with us, leave us messages. We will check those after the show, but we're not able to see you live uh, as, as the comments come through. Uh, other than that, everything that we talk about, we're going to uh, we'll be talking a little bit about what's going on with us in our art practice, and um, then sharing some of the artworks that uh, that we have for sale. Everything is for sale. I hate to be that blunt, but you know, that's life. Uh, we're, we're small business people as well. So everything is for sale. Uh, and uh, if you are interested in a piece, let us know. Shipping is no issue. We can ship anywhere in the world. Uh, uh, we just make these as easy as possible to fall in love with art and, and take it home. Now let's move over and I want to um, start the slideshow and I, I want to go briefly through uh, some reminders and some um, news that actually happens recently. Um, if you guys don't know, uh, we have a couple of uh, YouTube channels and we would like to, you to follow us. Um, it will be very helpful for us to have your support. And uh, one of them um, actually yeah, one of them, it uh, belongs to John, John Bishan Fine Art. Uh, and uh, John, you want to talk about a little you bet. what the content of your uh, vlogging? You bet. I, I do, I try and stay as active as I can on social media. So every week I put out a blog uh, for those who want to, to take, uh, take in information in a written format. I then do a vlog, a video blog, uh, and... Uh, those are usually, you know, 10 to 15 minutes long. Then I do a video podcast that I also put out as a audio podcast. Uh, and those are usually around half an hour. Uh, and then, of course, we have these live shows every Thursday. Mm -hmm. So you can catch me in lots of different ways and lots of different flavors, depending upon the, the kind of content you're interested in and, and see what, what we're working on, what we're thinking. Uh, and as, as Bogdan says, it, if you'd uh, subscribe and like, that would help the channel a lot. But uh, we don't plug that very often. And I wanted you to know that there's still a lot going on uh, apart from this, uh, from this program. And now the piece of news I have is I start a new uh, series on YouTube on my account this time on the Bogdan Photo Art. And the channel is called, the channel, the playlist is called Photographic Journeys. And what this is, it's a kind of a, it's a, it's a lengthy um, a video about how, about my practices in a way, uh, how I photograph certain things. And the first episode is, it's about how, how I uh, photograph this old car in the forest. And, um, you know, I'll take you to a journey, how I discover the uh, wreck, um, how do I place the lights in and out? How do I this, uh, take multiple exposure pictures? How I process them in uh, uh, Photoshop and um, show you the um, final result. You can um, follow me and you can take some ideas from these videos and apply to your photographic um, journeys as well. And not just that, I mean, Bogdan, people who are not photographers are still very interested in the process. You know, how do you get that really cool look mm -hmm. uh, of the, the car? I don't know if, if, if they, I think we showed that picture uh, on a previous episode. Yes. That is just like glowing from the inside in the woods. And how do you get that look? This, this video is a tutorial uh, and also just a guide for how you get those really remarkable shots. 
and, and again, there are many tutorials there, how to do certain things, how to photograph certain things. This is the way I did it. So, of course, you can take whatever you like from this. Um, you know, how how is that expression? Uh, uh, choose and pick, or I I, I don't remember. Pick and choose. Pick yeah. and choose. Pick and choose. Moving forward. The exhibition at Silver Street Studios is still on till June 4. Yeah, that's coming up faster than it sounds. Yeah. Absolutely. The new exhibition is announced already, but we'll talk about that later on. And those are my pieces in this exhibition. Three of them are on the main hallway, the main gallery. Uh, and the gallery at here at Silver Street Studio is open uh, Monday to Saturday from 10 o'clock till 5 o'clock in the afternoon so you can come anytime you want um, we are here in our studios every day so you can knock in our studios and meet us uh, but if you don't you do have, have access to our exhibition um, every day. as I said Monday through Saturday well, yeah, every day but Sunday uh -huh. and you still have these are your uh, pieces Yes, the, those are the those are three of the, the ones that I have. Again, these are all on exhibit, all for sale, uh, and uh, they will be up until June the fourth. Um, the nun is attention, which is always fun. Uh, I hear people all the time, kind of, because she's right outside my door, uh, commenting that, uh, "Oh, she's got a ruler! <laughs> Watch out!" So anyway, those those have been fun. It's been a really good show. And uh, it, it'll be up just for a few more, a few more days. Yes, it was fun. Oh, and another thing: um, it, this month, um, all artists at Hiver Studios are participating in the, a ten by ten art sale. So each one of us design a one or two pieces of artwork on a ten by ten um, wooden board. And um, a part of the money goes toward the artist funds to help us um, um, organize this exhibition at Silver Sea Studios. And a portion of the uh, proceeds goes to a shelter here in Houston called Friends for Life. It's a, a, a no-kill shelter uh, here in Houston. They do a really good job. And those are our pieces. Um, John is Moonrise, which is an acrylic um all the way or it's a, a, a acrylic uh, abstract and, and mine it's barmaid is a um, uh, fine art photography uh, mounted on a uh, on this 10 by 10 wooden board they are so that, that's just a detail of a, of a larger photograph right you're right mm -hmm. and they go uh, for 125 dollars each and they are all displayed on the main gallery. So come and uh, visit us um, anytime. Or uh, just a reminder, we are open uh, this coming uh, Saturday, third Saturday from 12 o'clock to five o'clock in the afternoon. John, you wanna talk about this uh, fellow artist, our friend here in Silver, very quickly? Right, you know, uh, we have these great opportunities to uh, to exhibit our work uh, in, in group shows, but we also now have a space that they're allowing us to do solo shows. Uh, Miller Quevedo is one of our colleagues. He's uh, been a professional photographer, uh, professional artist uh, since about 2015. So he's been doing this full time about as long as we have. Uh, Miller has uh, his opening is this evening uh, for his solo show calling connecting called Connecting Your Senses. Uh, Miller has been working towards this. He worked a lot in figurative painting, and then he moved to more expressive and now into kind of a abstract and, and kinesthetic uh, approach to his art. So all of his artworks tonight, starting tonight and for the rest of the month, will uh, uh, you can touch them. He encourages you to. So you can actually experience them. You can see the beautiful artwork, but you can also touch them, make noise with them, uh, feel them experience them. I don't think they smell. So that's yeah. one sense that you're out. Uh, but uh, it's a very, very interesting and very, very beautiful uh, exhibition. And his uh, reception is tonight, and it will run for a month. Yay. 
moving forward, a bit of piece of news I got yesterday in my email was an invitational for the 2021 Festival de Fotografia Artistica in Tucumán, Argentina. Um, the, the theme of the festival is Sueño o Realidad. And, um, you know, uh, I, I had just the perfect series for, for them to submit. And that was the synopsis series. And uh, I'm not sure if all the pieces, the 12 pieces from this series are going to make it into the show. But hopefully, um, quite a few of them will be uh, on display in Argentina. Actually, I've been um, to uh, present and Festival de Fotografia Artistica in Argentina last year with the Inheritance mm -hmm. series as well. So um, they sent and, me. And you were in Argentina the year before with a different. Uh, right, right. Uh, uh, both Inheritance and the Decay collection have been uh, displayed in Argentina in Buenos Aires by Galeria D'Amico. Um, uh, uh, and, and those the decay have been actually picked up um, when I was um, at PhotoFest in 2018 and then um, display in uh, Buenos Aires. And, and when Elda took your work to Argentina for an exhibition, she then took your work further to Vienna, correct? In Austin. Uh, um, yeah, to feature you there. She's yeah, uh, quite like, the fan, and it's a, a lovely, lovely fan to have. Yes, I think uh, one of them has been chosen as like director pick, and they have a yeah. several director pick uh, corner where um, uh, where they're displayed. So congratulations! That's very exciting. And this year, we're hoping you'll go to Argentina. You have oh, to just send hopefully. for. It. Hopefully, I will. See. We'll see. We'll see what COVID is. That'll, that'll be an interesting art chat from Buenos Aires. Yes. All right. Uh, what news do you have you about your Pan Camarga? How is it coming to Pan you? Pan Camarga, my uh, solo show is rushing forward. Uh, the works are pretty much completed. I have one more that I should probably finish this weekend. And then all the, all the artwork is done. We're ready to uh, start printing the invitations. So everybody mark on your calendars. Uh, that July the 9th is my opening for the show, kind of like the one we just described with Miller, where I'll have my own solo show here at Silver Street. Panca Marga, it refers to a Buddhist uh, concept that there are five roads that someone must go down in order to reach the perfection. Uh, not that I will be perfect, but uh, the, the whole idea of the series is that I will be releasing 20 uh, paintings uh, every five years for the next 20 years. Uh, so until I'm 80 years old. So that's uh, rather ambitious, but uh, the whole idea is to create a legacy series that will pretty much take me from my first exhibition till I'm too old to pick up my paintbrush. And uh, so it should be a lovely series, very hopefully very collectible. I certainly am having a good time with it. I'm not revealing any of the images yet. You have to wait until the exhibition, uh, but uh, fingers crossed, it's going really well so far. Good, good. Let's see. Let's say it's uh, now um, 11, uh, 17 minutes after 11, so it's time to dig into the uh, feature artworks. And the first um, image I choose for today is called Scotty in the Mist. And uh, if you remember uh, a week or so ago, I, I show you, uh, I showed you another image, uh, a similar, a similar um, style. Uh, that, was, that was a completely different mood. However, this one is, uh, it's a little more funnier. It's, a, it's happy in a way. And um, the way I created this image is um, and in the in the very back layer, there is a kind of a glowy rainbow cardboard. Then I have Scotty. Then in front of Scotty, I have a, a translucent matte sort of um, a board. Uh, and on top of it, in front, I, I, I um, sprayed some uh, glycerin mixed with water to have these drops stay longer because if you if you just um, spray pure water it will uh, it dries uh, out 
it will it will how to say that it will um, uh, evaporate right and um, this way they stay a little longer and um, this is how I made this picture and I thought I just it was love funny. It. And I, I think Scotty belongs to you from an antique sort of uh, um, collection. Yes, I have a, that's a sorted story. I at one point got a perm. And uh, when I did, everyone started giving me uh, little poodles. And someone thought this was a poodle, but it's actually a Scotty. Anyway, so I'm going to just show you Scotty. It's quite large. And look how cute this is. You know, you, it's great. You know, I can't look at that without smiling. It's just you great. really want to take it home, Lovely. right, Ryan? <laughs> okay. And the second piece, uh, Scotty is naughty. Stay there. All right. The second piece I have for you today is called, I'm going there, Forest Man. And Forest Man is um belong to that series uh, uh family um dreams uh last week i had one um, called summer dream and this is from the same series this is forest man and um i wanted to create something i wanted to give a different story to uh, how that previously was photographed and uh um, a little dreamy, a, a little surreal, uh, and make you wonder how can you see through that water? Why is that water? Uh, how did you cut that water so straight? It, it's almost like a piece of cake, if you if you <laughs> if you want. And uh, the way I did it, there's, there's many layers uh, made out of many photographs taken all over the world. Um, for example. The water and the beach is from New Zealand. The, um, the birds and uh, the mountains uh, uh, behind are from uh, Lake Tahoe. And the man itself is from Romania, from a countryside Romania. We, I think it was 2016, I can't remember very well the year. John and I were traveling to Romania photographing um, countrysides. And this man, this man showed up of a country road, uh, uh, dragging these uh, branches. And I stopped the car, I talked with him, he's a very nice man. Um, and I believe he said he was 90 at the time. I was like, where do you see a 90 years old man carrying logs from the forest all the way through his home? I, I thought it was like amazing. So this is his, um, where he lives actually. And uh, apparently he made it to Lake Tahoe. <laughs> and if you if you look at the mountains behind him in the picture on the left, uh, that's where he found that tree. Uh, he needed it to create a, 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 I think, a hay pile, a hay lot, a, a haystack. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he had to go in the mountains and get a tree, and he just went and got it. <laughs> and that's where we ran into him coming down the road. But I just love, I love the surrealistic uh, renditions of these. It just, it creates a a whole new story that is just haunting and intriguing and uh, magical all at the same time. They're really, really beautiful. You know, and, and in this setting, you don't want to hang somebody else's face in your house. But in this setting, it, it, there's a story to it in itself. And the face, the, the, the the face of, of the characters, that does not matter. You know what I mean? They are, they are like, like um, uh, movie stars. So you want to have them. You, you want to you wanna put them on your wall. Very, very lovely. All right. I think uh, moving forward to your feature pieces. I have two pieces to, to highlight today. They're actually hanging behind me as well. Uh, this particular one is called Sunset. It's uh, a 36 by 24. Both of them are the same size today. Uh, this is a, an abstract uh, acrylic uh, on canvas. The, uh, you can see some of my elements that, that kind of crop up in my paintings. Those dots uh, are always lurking around, almost always. And those to me represent kind of that uh, Aboriginal uh, Australian uh -huh. tech 
putting dots on. And to me, that represents that there's something spiritual uh, involved in, in the depiction. So they're, they're lurking about there. Uh, this is a, there's lots and lots of color and movement, but uh, lots of pinks and, and corals. And, and I just thought it uh, looked like a, maybe the sky during a sunset. You'll notice that my sun, if, you, if, that is the, if that part is the sun, and I don't think it was that intentional, but I put these, uh, my, my rectangles. Uh, I, I have a lot of squares in my art. I have a lot of circles and I have rectangles. And whenever you see a rectangle in one of my pictures, it's usually kind of hearkening to a television or a movie screen or a, or a computer screen. So that uh, these like ubiquitous screens that are all part of our lives and through which we experience so much of the world. You know, when I was growing up, you opened a book when you wanted to travel to a new world. Uh, these it's days, you just, you just click. <laughs> it's very true that uh, everything happens lately for us just looking down. I almost forgot to look up for the sun. Right. You know, if you actually went out and looked at the sky, it's lovely. But uh, very often, it's easier just to pull it up on the computer screen. So that's one of them. This one gets a, quite a bit of attention. The, the colors are magnificent. I don't know if you can see it behind me. I don't know what, what screen is, is visible to you. Yeah, let me, let me uh, stop sharing the screen so I can. I've got it here and the, the colors are really quite beautiful in it. Uh, the, uh, and you can see the size of it. They're, they're sizable uh, paintings. And the one next to it is the other one I was gonna share, which is actually called transition, uh, Transmission. Which is next to it, right? Yes, yeah, it's, it's right here, right next to it. And again, you'll see the big rectangle. Uh, and this one is, is pretty overtly because of the name transmission. This was actually a TV, the idea that there is a TV or, or computer screen involved centrally in the image. Uh, you can actually see below, there's a line there with the, the kind of, I, I did uh, knife work up and down, mm -hmm. and that kind of reminded me of the soundtrack uh, to a, to a broadcast or or to a to some sort of video. So again, full of color, full of movement. Those things are very important to me. Lots of layers, uh, and uh, you know, if, if I've got gold, uh, I'll use it. So uh, <laughs> I do love the gold. So anyway, I think this one is, is a very, very important picture to me. Uh, and I don't think anybody really gets the significance. They're like, why is there a rectangle? That's just my, it might just be my little secret. Maybe I'm the only one who will ever know that. Fabulous. The two I wanted to share with you guys today. Fabulous. Well, what's, what's um, are they for sale in your studio now? Uh, yes, everything is for sale. These these are both six hundred dollars each. Uh, they're for sale. I can ship them anywhere. It's not a problem. They're very light, uh, and and very often uh, uh, painters, myself included, will paint around the sides, so you don't actually need to frame them. That's not uh, that's not imperative. Uh, if you want to frame them, that's certainly easy to do. It's a standard kind of size, uh, but they they I think they they look pretty good just on their own hanging mm -hmm. on. I, I agree. They look lovely. And you know, I forgot, um, because we have still about three minutes left, I want to really show the forest man uh, printed on frame. Mm -hmm. Because I thought, you know, with a frame, it's a different... Yeah, I mean, it really dresses it up and makes it... And gives they are, they're very... Uh, there's a small edition. There's a, a 15 uh, uh, edition run. And... Um, you know, when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah, exactly. So if you want to have one of these, direct message me, contact us somehow, and we'll ship it to you. And this is this could be known as the Bogdan's era prior to moving to Argentina, where he seems to be hot. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they're after you in Argentina. I don't know. Yeah, what I'm, I'm glad to go to Argentina. I, I'm, I'm telling you. This what a we're going to have to, to we're gonna have to sell all these things so I can make, uh, so I can build a budget to 
to not not even to move to to at least to attend the photo fest uh, uh, this uh, fall and i can see you channeling your inner gaucho as you head across the bus with your with your photo with your uh, camera fantastic hey, uh, y'all can ask a quick question of no, course um, i think you said that you were um you were going to be at your studios from noon to five this Saturday. Is that right? Uh, yes, we are. And, and generally, we are in the studios every Pretty much any Saturday. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess my my question is, anytime. It, I mean, some people might want to make an actual appointment. Like, what, what's the, what's the best way to send you an email or, or book an actual appointment? You know our. It if you access any of our websites or if you direct message us on Facebook or on Instagram, wherever you are, we are, um, we can start a conversation from there. Um, actually. And again, it's not just, not just Saturdays. We're here pretty much every day. We're happy to stick around, give you private tour, uh, special, uh, treatments, you know, or of the, of the exhibition. Uh, we'll even go across and have a beer. I mean, if you need massage, I, I can to see massage you. your shoulders, whatever. <laughs> I'm not rubbing your feet. <laughs> no, but thank you, Ryan. Absolutely. That, uh, just get in touch with us anyway, you, you please. You can even stand outside and shout, and uh, that would probably work as well. Well, wonderful. Wonderful. We've it was, this is what we have to report this week. I know is. It feels like next week is going to be, and the end of this one is going to be just as busy, and we're going to have more it's news to share. Crazy busy. Uh, we just gonna... uh, we just launched also on Instagram Live. Oh yeah. Uh, before this, to try and, and announce that we were having the show as well, so we're we're branching out now to lots of different social media. Yeah, I mean, we learned that the more you stay. The more you use these social media accounts, uh, airtime basically, the more, um, uh, how is it, uh, imprints, digital imprints you get. Absolutely. And the whole idea is just to let people know that we're here, that we're that alive and happy and, and, and still working. So we're delighted to, to share what we're doing. Everybody have a great week. This is, uh, um, Again, it's going to be a busy week for us, but that's good. We'll have more to talk about next time. Absolutely. <laughs> and we will see you next time. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Goodbye. Bye.